Round 7 of the FIM MX1 MX2 Motocross World Championship kicked off the Brazilian Grand Prix at Beto Carrero World. Alexander Tonkov on the Esther Motorsports Honda grabbed that whole shot from 259. Glenn Koldenhoff on the standing construct KTM. And Koldenhoff, after three laps, found his speed and forced a great pass down the inside of the Russian to lead the way. Just behind them, Jake Nichols suddenly charged through as well. And by lap five, he was up into second position. Jeffrey Hurlings didn't make a great start on the Red Bull KTM, but wasted no time. Scythe in his way to the front of the pack, nor too did Mel Pocock with this pass on the Monster Energy Yamaha as he went through on told, uh, Alexander Tonkov. That put him into fourth place. Jeffrey Hurlings, though, was urged on by the crowd, and he eventually found his way into the lead with about six laps to go. Colden off was second, Nichols was third, but the chequered flag went out to Jeffrey Hurlings. He won race one. In MX1 race one, Tony Cairoli and David Philipparts disputed the whole shot, but it was confirmed later that Tony Cairoli was the Get Athena whole shot award winner. And from there, he opened up a pretty comfortable lead. In the early stages for the first four or five laps, David Philipparts held on to second, but behind them, there was Tommy Searle in third, with Clement de Salle in fourth and Max Nagel in fifth, the German winning the qualifying race on Saturday, and he was in no mood for messing around either. Tommy Searle fell from third position. That opened the door for Nagel to go through. And when he did, he went after David Philipparts and he made that pass to go second. Tony Cairoli was too far down the track, though, to do anything about him. Gertje Paulan had a bit of an up and down race, eventually coming home in fourth position. But he had to work hard for it as well, passing Van Horbeek along the way and the likes of Ken de Dijker. De Dijker made a mistake, though, and that allowed Paulan to go through. Up front, it was Tony Cairoli from Max Nagel to Sal was third. Van Horbeek made this mistake. He was in fifth place, so didn't lose any ground. But when the checkered flag fell, it fell to Tony Cairoli. Nagel was second to Sal was third. The Super Final saw the top 20 MX1 and MX2 guys for the third and final time this year. And it was Rui Gonçalves who grabbed the whole shot, but Tony Cairoli wasted no time getting to the front. Jeffrey Hurling's on our onboard camera. He went down, got hit from every different angle as well as he tried to pick himself up. And the dream of winning almost every race this year looks to be in tatters. Tony Cairoli survived a big scrub moment as he managed to hang on to third place in the early stage of the race. Kevin Strybos, though, the rock star energy Suzuki rider, was up front. And the leading MX2 guy was Boutron, number 17. De Sal was having a steady ride in third place on the Rockstar Suzuki, so we had both the Suzukis first and third. Jeffrey Hurlings fought his way through the field. He was down in 27th as he came through on the first lap. In the closing stages, David Philipparts crashed out of uh, 13th place, and he would not finish the race, but he would still score points. But Tony Cairoli made this pass on Kevin Strybos with three laps to go to take over the lead in this super final and he went on to win the race as well kevin strybos was second to sal was third jose boutron was the lead mx2 guy ending jeffrey hurling's win streak hurling's would come home second and tixier third your mx2 podium in the end was jeffrey hurling's geordie tixier was third with boutron in second just like last year Jeffrey Hurlings still leads the world championship of course another red plate for him as we go to france in three weeks time at urne and Tony Cairoli took his 58th Grand Prix victory here. And he celebrated by sticking a Marco Simoncelli sticker right on the top of the trophy as well. So that was your MX1 podium. Tony Cairoli, Commander Sal, and Kevin Strybos, first, second, and third. Of course, Tony Cairoli continues to lead the World Championship. He picked up another red plate from Dr. Wolfgang Schrub, the director of the FIM CMS. Jeffrey, another GP win here for you today, but it didn't come easy. You're limping as well. How's how's everything? I mean, I, I crashed first turn and somebody rode in my leg, and then at some point somebody again. I don't know who it was, but it was some MX1 rider, some local, but been struggling. You know, the stars all weekend again, and been struggling really bad, and not the undefeated guy anymore, but still won the GP. So uh, can be uh, proud enough. Just proud enough. Well done, Jeffrey. Tony, you passed Kevin on those last few laps to take that super final win. And on top of that, it must be nice to take the GP win here today. Yeah, for sure. My goal after two GP that I finished on the second step of the podium. 
I was really pumped to be to be here and win. Uh, you know, the weather wasn't so good, and I know in the mud uh, I still have to work a bit. And uh, but finally the track was very dry, was good, very very technical today, and uh, I could manage to win the first moto and the second moto. Second moto a little bit dif difficult. I had arm pump in the beginning. Uh, Kevin was pushing very hard, but then I know in the end I could come very close, and uh, I made the pass. Nice pass, nice public here around the track, and uh, it's amazing. Well, then we'll see you in a few weeks.